Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 63. In this training module, we're going to be exploring setting up and working with our staged fuel injection. This is where we have more than one set of injectors and we want to bring in that secondary or third or fourth set of injectors to bring an additional fuel flow rate to the engine. We have a variety of different reasons we might want to do this. We're going to talk about that and then how to properly program the staged fuel injection and then what to look for in data logs to be able to tell how that stage injection is actually working and bringing that fuel into your engine. We have a lot to cover and talk about. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our staged fuel injection using our Haltech Elite and our NSP software. Now our staged fuel injection allows us to run more than one set of fuel injectors on our engine. So traditionally we're going to have a primary set of fuel injectors that's going to be mounted into our intake port, spraying fuel above our intake valves. Now, that may not give us enough fuel flow rate. We might need additional fuel flow rate. Well, what's gonna happen if you have, let's say, a set of 2,600 cc injectors and you're out of flow rate from those injectors? Well, we can raise our base fuel pressure a little bit, but you're only gonna get a marginal increase in flow rate. You can add a second set of fuel injectors and bring in additional fuel flow rate, and we can stage those additional injectors and bringing in additional fuel when we get into higher load and higher boost, higher RPM type of situations. So utilizing our software here with very basic minimal programming, we are able to implement staged injection. Now, if we're taking a look at a Mazda RX-7 rotary engine, they're gonna have stage injection right from Mazda in the OEM configuration can't deliver enough fuel flow rate with just a primary set of injectors on a rotary so we use stage injection and we bring in that second set of injectors as we get into higher load, higher boost, higher RPM situations. You might find yourself in a situation where if you have let's say a 2600 cc injector they're not going to run very well at idle and part throttle and if you have a car that's driven not primarily on the racetrack but that's driven primarily on the street and you want to have good drivability you can actually run a smaller primary injector and then run those large 2600 cc secondary injectors bring them in when you get into boost where you're not going to have to worry about the drivability trade-off with that big injector so you could run a 500 or a thousand cc injector on your primaries and then you could run a 2600 cc on your secondaries and have perfect drivability and really really good idle quality so there's all kinds of situations you might find yourself in um, but ultimately, bottom line is that stage injection is something that's very easy to set up and a lot of the aftermarket intake manifolds that you can purchase will have the capability of doing a second set of injectors and a second fuel rail. Let's talk about how we're going to configure this. It's actually, again, really, really simple. I have a special dedicated page here in our layout called stage injection and this is where we can do the actual programming and take a look at what's actually going on with our staged injection feature. Before we jump into this page, let's take a look at where we can configure and turn on our secondary staged injection, and then we can go through all the little basic details with that. So what I'm going to do is jump into main, go into the navigation tree, and we're going to go here into engine configuration. We're going to go and move our uh, drop-down menu here open, and we're going to go into fuel system. This is where we turn on a second, third, or fourth set of injectors. Now, all the situations I've been in, I've only ever had to go in and add additional set of injectors. But we have the capability with the Haltech to have a third or fourth set of injectors. This would be for extreme applications, running on methanol, running extremely high boost levels, where again, you simply cannot get enough fuel flow right in with a second set. So you might need a third set of injectors and even a fourth set of injectors. So let's go through configuring this and all the details with this. So in order to go and turn on our staged injection, let's assume, just to keep this simple, we have two sets of injectors, a primary and a secondary set of injectors. We're gonna go into our number of stages here, and in this case, I'm gonna select two, but we can go here and select up to four. So let's go ahead and select two. Now when we do this, couple things we need to consider. If we're going here to our cylinder and bank correction stages, this is going to be anything that's related to a correction factor, whether it's a cylinder correction, whether it's any kind of correction offsets we have going on for our fuel side of things, it's gonna be able to apply it based on the stages we're working with here. So you could say no corrections are applied. We could say all active stages get the same corrections applied, which is really most likely what you wanna do. Then you also have individual stages that can apply any of the correction factors that we would have 
found under our fuel tuning tab. We've talked about those already. I'm gonna use this as all active stages. So what that's going to do is apply all of our correction factors in terms of a fuel flow rate offset to all of our stages and all of our injectors or all of the, um, the, the fueling delivery to the engine. If it's going to be per cylinder basis, per cylinder fuel correction, well, obviously it wouldn't apply to all the injectors and all the cylinders, it would apply just to a particular cylinder. But I'm gonna use all active stages, but we have the capability to be specific with that. Let's do a quick reboot here. Now the staging method here is something we need to consider. There's either an elite style or a nexus style. When we choose our nexus style, this goes about configuring the stage injection, in my opinion, in a much better manner than the elite style. The elite style is carrying forward from the ESP software with the elite systems, the old stage injection programming options. When we're dealing with the NSP software, even when you're running an elite system, which I have right here, it's an elite 2500, I wanna use the Nexus style. This is really important, especially if you're doing a new install application where you haven't. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.